Today, we're talking about what I would consider our essential Shopify apps. So if you're opening a store for the first time, you may find these apps useful. If you've been running your store for a while, then I think there's a high likelihood that you are already familiar with these apps, but there's still maybe one or two that you haven't been using. Just a quick disclaimer, I'm not affiliated with any of these apps, so these are really just apps that we use. All right, let's get started. First, we have Klaviyo. This app is more of an integration to their web app, and you would need to log in to Klaviyo to access their features. We use Klaviyo to manage pretty much all of our email flows and campaigns. Flows are automated emails we send out that are triggered by customer behavior. This could be an abandoned cart or an order or even actions made with different apps via the Klaviyo integrations that they have. So for example, if a customer abandons their cart, we can reach back out to them, offering them a discount to get them to buy. If they place an order, we can check if they are a new customer and offer them a welcome bonus or send them through a welcome series of emails. And you can also send email campaigns. So if you have information you want to share, have a promotion going on, or just generally want to send out emails to your customers and subscribers, then Klaviyo is great for that. Klaviyo is probably the most popular email marketing software for Shopify stores. They're, they're humongous. They, they even went public recently. So um, you really can't go wrong with them. They have a free tier to, to get you started. So there really is no reason why you, know, you don't want to use them. Next, we have shipping software. So um, this could be XPS Ship, Shipping Easy, or ShipStation, or many other ones. Uh, but these are the three that I've typically used. Once you start getting orders on your store, you'll need a way to manage your shipments. And regardless whether you're shipping in-house or with a third-party supplier, you'll need some sort of shipping software. Um, so with these three, they help with managing all your orders that require the shipments and make it much easier to print labels in bulk at discounted rates. So they also communicate with Shopify. So if once you print the label, it'll send that information back to Shopify and mark your order as fulfilled. The three that I mentioned, XPS Ship, Shipping Easy, and ShipStation are great to use. However, if you're just getting started, XPS Ship might be your choice because there's no monthly fee with it, while the other two do have a monthly fee. But I do like the interface of Shipping Easy and ShipStation a little bit better. If you're doing more volume, you may want to switch over to one of those paid options. Um, I just find that their features, particularly around reporting and analytics, are, are just a little bit better. And on top of that, they're under the Stamps umbrella. So, so Stamps is the company that owns the ShipStation and Shipping Easy software, but they also um, own shipping services. So if you are doing higher volume, you can get these e-commerce specific services through um, companies like OSM. So it actually helps get you a better rate than you otherwise would if you were to ship with, say, USPS. If you're using a service like that, then you're going to have to use something like ShipStation because you can actually integrate those rates into ShipStation or Shipping Easy. Um, so that'd be another reason why you might want to upgrade um, once you're starting to do more volume. So next, we have Looks. Looks is the review app that we like to use. It is a paid app. Um, but we are fans of its features and how it looks on Shopify stores. Looks has optimized itself for image and video reviews and has many features that are set and forget. So um, you can automatically send emails to ask for reviews, offering discounts. Um, you can set up uh, your image carousels and referral programs. One of the features that we really like is that there's a, a widget that you can add to the bottom of your product page that groups all of your reviews together. So if you're a newer store and your reviews are scattered across different products, um, so let's say instead of having 10 products with one review each, you can actually show all 10 reviews for your store for each of the 10 products. And so it'll just give gives your store a little bit more of that social proof. But if you don't want to pay for an app, there's many other review apps out there that are more basic um, and still offer a lot of these features. Um, so one popular one that I've seen around is Judge Me. Um, I've never used it myself, but uh, it seems to have great reviews. Next, we have the Search and Discovery app from Shopify. So we actually did a video on this app, um, but what this app does is it adds a filter to your collection page to help customers find different products on your store. Um, this may not matter as much if you have a small product catalog, but once your store, store starts to grow, it just helps to have a way for customers to filter through your stuff. This app is kind of like actually extending the settings in Shopify, although you technically do install it as an app. Um, I did a separate video on this, so if you're interested, you can check out that video from the uh, link in the description below. All right, next we have Hextum Bulk Product Edit. 
technically, I don't think most stores will need this right away. Um, but for our apparel stores, the catalog grows pretty fast. Um, so we're installing this one pretty quickly. If you have a lot of products and you want to edit them all at once. So for example, maybe it's changing the text for all the products of a collection or to adjust the pricing on a group of products, then this app is amazing for that. Essentially, it helps keep the changes across your store consistent by helping you not forget something. So you can actually change all these products at once with a single action instead of trying to update them one by one and running the risk of actually missing something. Matrixify is actually an alternative to uh, Hextum. Um, and we'll also use this sometimes too. It's actually more powerful and has more features when it comes to the bulk updates. So in particular, I, I really like that you have access to what seems to me like every single field in Shopify including like image alt text, meta objects, and, and more. Whereas Hextum bulk product edit is focused on the products. And if you want to update images, they actually have a separate app for that. What I also really like about Matrixify is they have this merge function, which is a really big time saver for us. But Hextum bulk product edit is easier to use because they have a pretty good GUI where you can just update products based on a set of conditions. So you can say all the products of a certain collection or all the products with a title that contains this word so um, or all products with this specific product type so um it, it is a little bit easier to understand um, whereas with matrixify it can get confusing because you have to explicitly say what you're changing um, and have that as a row in a spreadsheet but both of these apps are great um, they both have a free tier to get you started as you scale up you, um, you can upgrade your plans to to go along with it and finally we have the facebook app. So it's actually a sales channel app. So it's a little bit different, but uh, essentially you need to get customers. And the most common way to do that is through advertising. If you're skilled at generating organic traffic, then you know by all means, you should do that. Uh, but many e-com stores do rely on sales channels like Facebook or TikTok. And we personally generate most of our traffic with Facebook. Um, so it's still the best channel in our opinion to grow your brand. And you'll need the Facebook sales channel app in order to integrate with Facebook ads. That's it. Those are the six apps that we essentially install right away when we open up a new Shopify store. Let me know if you guys like this type of video. It is more of an introduction to these apps and we haven't really gone into too much depth with any of them. Or do you prefer that I dive deeper into one of these apps or, or a single solution? Just let me know which you prefer in the comments below. Anyway, thanks for